I will make this point, and it will be fascinating to see the students' reactions. What would happen if Israel laid down its arms, and what would happen if its enemies laid down their arms? What would happen? Israel doesn't want to wipe anybody out. The charge of genocide against Israel is as big a lie as men give birth, and it's made by the same people. There are five times as many Palestinians today as as when Israel was created. But when you hide among civilians, what what is, and then try to exterminate a state? What is what is the state that is the target of extermination supposed to do? Oh, gee, we we can't fight because they're hiding among civilians. October 7th. I can't believe it's October 7th. This horrible year went so fast. Except for those those poor souls who are still hostage. I, I think one day in that tunnel would drive most of us crazy. The the luck of the draw, I think of the parents whose children are are in those tunnels, the people whose parents are in those tunnels, the friends. I mean, friend is such a high position in life, often higher than sibling, perhaps higher than parent in many cases, in terms of bond and attachment. You did nothing wrong and look at what happened to your life. That's the amazing thing. They did nothing wrong. It was a music festival. Young people went to dance. Part of its theme was peace. There is no desire for peace on the Palestinian side. Do you do you understand that? There is none. All they want is Israel destroyed. They don't want peace. They want they don't want peace with Israel. They want peace without Israel. I spoke at Stanford many many years ago, and a woman. Uh, I I was at a pro-Israel demonstration, and there was a an anti-Israel demonstration uh, nearby. And a woman, a grown woman, came over to me and she thought, knew I was the speaker at the pro-Israel demonstration. And she said, an, an American woman, not a, not someone from the Middle East. And she said, don't you realize that, the, you know, they want peace. I spoke to them. They want peace. I said, so go back to them and say, do you want peace with Israel or without Israel? Then she never came back. <laughs> it was it was one of those revelatory moments. <laughs> There's no room for a Jewish state in as far as vast numbers of Muslims are concerned and vast numbers of leftists. There is room for a state for everybody, but not for Jews. But we're supposed to believe anti-Zionism is is not a form of anti-Semitism. Every people on earth can have a state except the Jews, the oldest people on earth, who already had two states there. This is the third Jewish state there. 